Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, been a little while. Life's been pretty crazy, pretty busy. Um, but uh, I thought I'd make a quick one today. I'm uh, uh, oldest boys in school. The two younger boys are out playing with Grandma. Uh, so I'm uh, doing a little scrapping here. Uh, see if I can't uh, uh, build up the slush fund a little bit more. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the back there. I've got just picked up one grill from somebody that I was going to pick it up earlier this winter but it was just so buried in the snow I couldn't really get to it uh, so that's opened up here so I picked that up and we're gonna hit two more stops I should have I think two more grills a dryer and some other miscellaneous stuff uh, so we'll pick that up we'll haul it to the scrapyard and see what it's worth so yeah we'll be back shortly cheers there we go my favorite kind of pickup already just right on the side of the road for me in the back neither one is very heavy but I think they might both be um, uh, cast aluminum all right got some little neodymium magnets here let's just quick see oh no that one's steel sticks bottom steel too let's see what the top of this one this one yep doesn't stick so that one is aluminum so when we get home we'll quick knock that off and we'll keep the top. The rest of it I think we'll just send though. We'll see how grungy it is inside. That was a much more lucrative pickup than I thought. Uh, I thought it was a dryer and a grill, but all of that other stuff on there makes it definitely worth taking this load in today. Uh, or for good. There was also a bunch of stuff that I threw in the back that can go as three foot steel at my yard. So there was enough of it that it's worth sorting out. Plus the little bit that I have at home. So we will, uh, yeah, we'll make our way to go sell this stuff. Make a quick stop at home to, uh, sorry, I hit a bump, was just making sure straps were looking okay. Uh, yeah, we'll make a quick stop at home. I've got a little bit of stuff. Well, I've got a little bit of stuff at home. I'm not sure. If I want to add it to this load, it would go as unprepared normally, but with all of the stuff that's in there, they'd end up only taking it as appliance weight here. So maybe I'll, I don't know, I'll throw some of it in maybe. We'll see what I'm feeling like when I get home and what the timing is like, about quarter to 12 right now. So 
there's the load so far. And it would be nice. I was thinking I'd get five, ten bucks a day, but this could end up being a twenty, thirty dollar load. So that definitely makes it worth it. But uh, yeah, great. We'll see you uh, probably at the scrapyard. Maybe we'll check in at home when we make a quick stop. But uh, see you, well for you, it'll be like two seconds. All right, so here's the load that's going. We got the grill that I pulled the aluminum top off of, came off pretty easy. Uh, top load washer, beat up, rusted out, um, wheelbarrow. Uh, this is some base of um, an old metal desk that I went back and forth on whether to bring it along with this old futon frame um, because they would go as unprepared normally um, and since it's with all of these appliances they'll end up going as appliances uh, but whatever it gets them out I'm running out of space here I don't want it taking up too much so that part of it's gonna go I'm keeping the bed frame and stuff there that doesn't take up much space um, so we got that stuff we got the front load dryer I think it's a dryer might be a washer not sure. Um, another grill. Um, this one had the steel top, so I left it. I pulled all of the grates and everything out of the grills. Uh, there's a microwave down here. I know I could pull the transformer and everything out of it. Don't have time. Um, another grill. So there's the big stuff. In the back, we have... Uh, there are a couple of rotors that came. This whole pile here is all, uh, my yard takes three foot steel, that's their prepared. Um, so anything less than three foot by 18 inches. So this is all three foot steel. Um, and that has a little bit of wire in it. I haven't totally decided if I'm gonna take it in when I go or not. It's not a lot, it's an extension cord and a few little bits of wire. Um, but number three wire is at 50 cents a pound right now. So tempting, uh, but that's our load. We're gonna haul it off and make some money. Well, I ended up getting out of there with just over 40 bucks. <laughs> Not bad for a, a couple hours here. Uh, oh, I've been at it, I suppose, about two hours today. So 20 bucks an hour, I'll take that. Uh, yeah, it was fun too. The uh, I even lucked out there. I'm not sure how, but uh, they, instead of giving it to me at appliance weight, they gave me that whole trailer load at unprepared, uh, which is about 30 bucks a ton more. So we whatever it's a penny a pound more but in uh, let's see I had 580 pounds of that so uh, that's five bucks at uh, at a penny a pound uh, and then all that short steel I had in the back was about 140 pounds worth uh, and that comes in at about seven and a half cents a pound so all in all not bad but uh, more money in the bank it's a good thing so that's uh, that's where we're at Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're, uh, you got any questions, wondering anything, something you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your week, and uh, we'll we'll catch you next time. So, cheers.